Incorporating people's views and their lived realities, you know, with the text is something recently I've been exploring, an area of preaching that I, that I call accountable preaching. And that for preaching to be faithful, uh, it has to account for plural accountabilities. And by that I mean um, paying attention to the ways in which uh, the, the preaching moment as a movement within worship is taking um, both instruction and leading and sustenance from those areas, dimensions to which is accountable. Let me explain. So um, uh, liturgical scholar Michael Warren talks about worship as a zone of contestation. And what he means by that is that it challenges the, the, the lived realities and commitments of worshipers. So in worship, there, there is a, a battle that's going on for which construal of reality will we give our allegiance to. So in other words, in worship, uh, there is, are the messages, as you were, of the, of the majority culture, of the lived culture. You know, you know, make it on your own, strive and make your own life and, and uh, you know, resistance to forgiveness, you know, don't, don't get mad, get even, that sort of thing. So there, uh, you're not enough, you're not skinny enough, you're not rich enough, you're not beautiful enough, buy our products and we will show you how to be beautiful. So there's that construal of reality. In worship, we are to contest that and to say that God loves you as you are. Grace abounds in your life. That we are called to forgive. We are called to be merciful. And the movement of the liturgy helps that to happen. Now, preaching is a signature movement in that that needs to account for all those things that are Im impinging on the worshiper. So, for instance, it has to be accountable to the text, to the grace of God, the gospel story. It has to be accountable to the vulnerabilities of the congregation. It has to be accountable to those who are not even there yet. So by speaking a reality of me members of our society who are not in worship, you are bringing into the midst uh, the world that God so loves, to which we as a community of faith is accountable. So what I've been exploring this whole notion of what does it mean to be an accountable preacher and the plural accountabilities that are, are, are involved. Um, a definition of accountability, I, I would say, is sort of a, um, a contoured by relationship, because accountability is always in relationship. Contoured by relationship, accountability is the joyful and sacred privilege of stewarding faithfully entrusted gifting and responsibilities. So being accountable in our preaching is attending to what is necessary to enliven, embolden, challenge, heal, bless, uh, maybe even sometimes coerce, as it were, uh, the people with whom you're serving. You remember in, in 2 Timothy 4, uh, Paul is saying to Timothy, be prepared to preach. Be prepared to preach in season and out of season, to correct, rebuke, and encourage. Now, I don't find there's a lot of rebuking in our preaching going on. There's a lot of encouragement sometimes, but sometimes it is not so much maybe rebuking people's personhood. It is rebuking those things that are impinging, that circumscribe their lives. And so I believe that um, uh, more and more I'm trying to look at the dimensions of accountability that are part of the, the preaching preparation and the preaching delivery uh, in my congregation.